thumbs up. Is this a legally binding contract if I give you a thumbs up? Janet, what's <laughs> the story? Apparently it depends on who you ask, right? right? So here's the story. A grain buyer sent a text to a farmer in March of 21 saying that the company was looking to buy 86 tons of flax to be delivered in the fall. The buyer later spoke with the farmer on the phone and texted a picture of the contract to deliver the flax in November, adding, please confirm flax contract. Ooh! (laughs) He texted back a thumbs-up emoji. But when November came around, the flax was not delivered (laughs) <laughs> Prices for the crop had increased, okay? The farmer argued that the emoji indicated only that he had received the contract in the message, not that he was agreeing to the contract. However, a judge has now ruled that an emoji can amount to a contractual agreement and has ordered the farmer to pay. You talk about a judge yeah. that's, that's trying to... Uh trying to get that person's name in the news. Um, and and I, I read a little bit about the article. It's a Canadian judge. It's not an American judge. And, and their rules are similar to ours. Their laws are similar to ours. It's based on old English. Although, um, I actually have business in Canada, and they still wear the wigs and stuff. In oh, court. do they yeah, really? Wow. Interesting. So that would Didn't not know stand that. up here. In, okay, so in the United States, to have a legally binding contract, you have to have five things. You have to have – I'm going back to law school here. You have to have an offer. Okay. I offer to sell you flax. I, I don't even know what a flax is. I think it's like flaxseed. Apparently, like... you buy it by the ton. You know, I, I want tons and tons of flax. I, so I don't think you I, want tons I, in your drink. I make, I make an offer. Okay. I'm going to yeah. sell you flax. You then accept. So you have to have an offer, and then you have to have an acceptance. You then have to have a consideration, okay? So it's not enough for you to say, I offer to sell you and I accept. Then it's, what is a consideration? How much is I'm willing to buy that for? And there has to be legally binding intent. I have to say, all right, this is what we're going to do. This is a legally mm-hmm. binding contract. And then the fifth item, you have to have is competency of the party. So one party can't be a minor because that's considered an incompetent party. You can't be, you know, have other types of limitations that would prevent you from entering into a contract. In the United States, you'd have to have those five things, and then if something were to proceed to the court, the judge would look at what we call the four corners of the contract, four corners of the agreement, where they read the entirety of the agreement to determine if all five elements were met. There's no way that in the United States, in Oklahoma, an Oklahoma judge is going to say that somebody responding to a text with a thumbs-up emoji meets all five of those criteria. Because what they're saying is the thumbs-up is the acceptance. Okay, They're saying that we had an offer and there's an acceptance. But you just still, there was no, where was the legally binding aspect of it? Where was the competence that the party talked about? I think what a judge would do is say, listen, if this was really an agreement, there would have been follow-up. There would have been additional conversation. There would have been talk about the pricing. There would have been talk about delivery dates and things like that. It's not enough that it's just an agreement. That would be the equivalent of, you know, we're sitting here, having, we're joking around, and I say, Janet, man, I'll give you a million dollars if you'll go run around the block for me right now and you give me a quick thumbs up. <laughs> I mean, I, I owe you a million dollars. Wow. The, and a U.S. judge is not going to do that. Canada, Canada, and I don't think this will stand up in the Canadian Superior Courts either. I know, I, but you know what? I think he did agree. That is my honest thought is he did agree because if you're sending me. We're having these talks. You know when you want it delivered. Oh, here it comes. Okay, here's my thumbs up. Because if I'm a farmer and I'm wanting to sell, I would then have reached out later to be like, oh, hey, I do approve this contract now that I've read it. Like all all negotiations just stop at that point. And I think the reason he didn't want to sell it is because the price of the flax went up and he went. Hmm, I can make a lot more money. I'm going to say that I just was sitting thumbs up as a way. I'll give you. To it's, do that. It's an impre- I think it's, he's scamming. It is impressive how you can take a thumbs up emoji and create an entire scenario in your head. That's I what know. She, it really, she it really is. Second it's, eight update. And, yeah. Because worrying. I have a sixth and, and sense. I'm used to this. I, I've had juries create entire scenarios in their head for mm-hmm. which there's. No evidence, nothing discussed, and then you talk to them after a jury verdict, and they give me a speech like you just. Mm-hmm. I'm like, where did that come See, from? In jury where selection, did that come from? get rid of That's Janet. Uh, she everybody named Janet. Don't okay. Okay. She says she has six cents. She has no sense, buddy. She, uh, if you have a six cents, give it to me. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs>